Welcome, all right. What is up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. I want to look at this Cronus kit. I genuinely, genuinely want to look at this Cronus kit from Sigeli because I've been using this Shikra mod. This is a Shikra mod. Hasn't ended up on video a lot, but I've been using it quite a bit. I got this in November, like right before my wedding. I vaped this my whole wedding day. It's got this big round screen, which it looks like the Cronus has as well. I don't know why. I just really like this rounded screen. It's so weird, but I like it. The Shikra is made out of stainless steel. It uses a little bit higher quality materials than the Cronus. This is priced lower than the Shikra is. They both come with round wire based sub ohm tanks, which we're going to set up real quick. And they both look to have this same like uh, really, I don't know, comfortable ergonomic design. Like all of the corners are kind of squared off, rounded off. It's real smooth. Anyway, another Enough about that, let's look at this. Cronus. One box is for the mod, one box is for the tank. Boosh, there's your mod. Oh yeah, it's real black, real murdered out. I really like that. It's kind of got that matte black aluminum finish with sort of a, a shinier black accents. Already, just right out of the box, you can kind of tell it's a little bit lower quality of materials. This is clearly like an anodized aluminum, but I mean, it looks to have all of the same design cues from the Shikra. Door pops open on the bottom and the sled is clearly marked. Positive goes this way, negative goes this way. Snap it all together, you get a little Segeli boot up screen. And yeah, this round display. I don't know why, I just freaking love it. You got this little toggle switch right here, which if you tap up, it'll adjust in 0.1 watt increments. And if you tap down, it'll adjust in 0.1 watt increments, which isn't necessarily my favorite, but eh, it's whatever you kind of have to deal with it. One thing that the Shikra did that I'm interested to see if the Cronus did is it never really goes real fast when you're adjusting your wattage. So it, it adjusts in 0.1 watt increments, at least under 50 watts it does. So this goes in 0.1 watt increments. And if you want to go from 11 watts to 50 watts, you could just hold this down, right? And those numbers start going, right? And it never really goes any faster than this. And, and you just, you hold it, it never really picks up steam and then boosh you can kind of get to you can kind of get to 50 watts a little bit faster i was just surprised to not see it go like blazing lightning fast but like i said once you get to 50 watts you can hit up on this and it adjusts in 0.5 watt increments which is oh that is just my favorite fantastic thing of all fantasticness you can give this nubbin a little long press right here and you can switch between uh you know the menu system you can pick all your different modes whether that's pipe power titanium nickel stainless steel custom TCRs we're gonna go back to power mode we're gonna leave it on normal in this set area you can pick between two different backgrounds and I don't know two options that's pretty dope we'll pick this one and that's really all there is to it let's set up the tank you get a tank you get a spare glass and you get a spare coil head as well the pack and tank is very similar to the pack and tank that came with the Shikra you have a little adjustable AFC here on the bottom that is has a lot of resistance to it. It is, I don't want to say it's difficult to twist, but you're just going to notice a lot of resistance, which means it'll stay wherever you want to put it. 510 drip tip on top. It's got a threaded top fill system, which will expose the one kidney shaped juice fill hole there. And then if you keep disassembling it, here's where you get to your coil head. And I like whenever I get a kit fresh from the factory, I just pull out the coil head and re put it in myself. Sometimes these factory machines, they crack crank down that coil head really far in there, like too far in there. So far in there sometimes that it compromises the integrity of the O-rings and can lead to leaking or dry hits. So every fresh tank I get, I just pull out the coil head and kind of reset it in there myself. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see down in there, but this is a single round wire based coil head. Let's set it up. Here's all the specs for the tank while we're filling it up. I really, really like that five and a half mil bubble glass juice capacity. It, it's just great. And even though this tank only does have one hole for both the juice to go in and the air to come out, I've never actually clogged this. It's never been an issue. Assuming you kind of keep your juice bottle off to one side like this while you're filling it so your air has somewhere to escape. But otherwise, well, this is all full. We're just gonna reattach this. We'll be good to go, dude. Boom roasted, quick and easy to set up. Let's vape it. 
So I have had a complicated relationship with Sigeli. Sigeli's been around in the industry for almost as long as I can remember. I've been using Sigeli mods for years and years and years. And Sigeli used to crank out uh, clones of mech mods. And they had their own like huge line of mech mods that had like a thousand different mech mods in it. And some of them were good and some of them were terrible. And some of them were actually kind of dangerous a little bit. And Sigeli used to release some really good stuff. The Sigeli 100s and 150s were I mean, among my favorite mods kind of that I've ever used. I just loved them so much. Then I feel like Sigeli had like a real bad rough patch. They released some, I mean, let's be honest. It was just garbage. Like they were releasing some garbage for a while. That weird dual bottle squonker with the square RDA that you could mix the flavors in the bottles before it got to your atomizer and it was just the, it was terrible there was a lot of terrible stuff in there and then and then I got this shikra and I was like wow all right Sigeli I'm listening I was kind of impressed right away with like the quality of it the feel of it and I really liked this like round screen which is something I've never enjoyed before but I think Sigeli made it look real cool and I just started kind of using the shikra you know here and there and using it and, I, and like I said I got it right before my wedding I used it my whole wedding day I'm a little bit sentimentally attached to the shikra but now we have this Cronus this like real slick murdered out looking like cheaper version of the shikra although the price difference between them even though we're not to the aliens game yet the price difference between them is only about 10 bucks like i said in the up close they have very similar features very similar form factor but you can tell just from holding both in your hand that one of them is of a little bit lower quality and that one being the cronus and it's a little bit cheaper and it's just a little bit lower quality overall so this is that point 0.26 round wire coil head in the inside. I got it loaded up with that Primal Elixir Consume, which is a very, very tasty liquid. And I've got it sitting right at about 66 watts. It's given me real nice, real nice vape. Now I know everybody and their mother is on the mesh train and everybody wants mesh sub-ohm coil heads and for good reason, mesh sub-ohm coil heads kind of rule, right? They're awesome and I love using them. One thing that this round wire coil head does in here that I've genuinely missed from sub-ohm tanks is it gives me that crackle. It gives me that good like nichrome wire crackle. It's crackly, it's flavorful, it's dense. This is a pack-in sub-ohm tank. And as far as pack-in sub-ohm tanks go, it's fine. Sigeli did fine with this. The coil heads are nice. It all fits together real well. You got that AFC, you unscrew the top to fill it. It's nothing real new, nothing real revolutionary. It uses the 510 drip tip, which, Eh, 510 drip tips is kind of something I would normally gripe about, but it doesn't bother me on this because it stays in there secure and it's wide enough of a 510 drip tip that it kind of feels like an 810 drip tip. And honestly, the reason I don't really care about it on this tank is I don't foresee myself using this tank enough for it to really become an annoyance. It's a fine pack-in sub-ohm tank, but really I can think of at least 12 to 13 other toppers that I would like to put on this before this sub-ohm tank. The Cronus does 200 watts and it's got plenty of power, power to spare. I got that Might Vapes Rebirth RDA on here. I set it to 115 watts. Clouds, bro. Plenty, plenty of power. It's it's rich and warm. It's honestly a little powerhouse of a mod. Now, I, I have the same gripe with the Cronus that I have with a lot of Chinese regulated mods that come out. It's, it's another regulated mod, and it's fine. It will vape great. Dual 18650s, plenty of power, clicky button, neat little display. It's fine. It's not really bringing anything new to the table. There's nothing real revolutionary about it. It's like, yeah, the circle screen, 
The circle screen is pretty cool, but there are certainly not enough features on this, circle screen included, that it makes it like a must buy thing. If you already have one or two regulated mods that you already really like, there's not gonna be a real reason to just jump on this and upgrade to this. This doesn't do anything that your regulated mods don't currently do, except maybe have a cool circular screen. Ultimately, it's, it's fine. It is a, a great mod for Segeli. This is a huge step forward from Segeli from the other stuff that they were releasing. But ultimately, in the scope of like the entirety of the vape world, it vapes and I'm enjoying it and it's fine. I'm not as impressed with the Cronus as I was with the Shikra when I first got it because the Cronus it's lacking that little bit extra. It's lacking that weight to it. It's lacking that stainless steel. It's just, it's just lacking a little bit. I still enjoy the Shikra and I'm still kind of impressed with it. It feels fancy and weighty and I don't know, there's just something about it I really enjoy much more than the Cronus. The Cronus definitely feels like the lesser version of the Shikra. When really, like I said before, there's only about $10 difference between them. Clicking around the internet, you can find the Cronus for like 55 bucks, maybe as high as 60, and you can find the Shikra for about $10 more, anywhere from 65 to $70. If $10 is gonna break the bank for you, then the Cronus is honestly a solid way to go. Like I said, it'll vape, it's fun and it's fine. If we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the Shikra or the Cronus something I would seek out and buy right away? Uh, I don't know, P probably not. And again, that's not to say that these are bad mods or anything like that, but I have kind of a long list of regulated mods that I really, really love, and there's nothing so unique or special about the Shikra or the Cronus that would make me sort of jump ship to use these instead. Anyway, that is certainly enough rambling from me. There are no links allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching, and as always, that's right, let's keep on vaping.